Hello YouTube, my name is uh, Darren, I'm owner of Neatness Lawn Care. Uh, as I was getting uh, my salt spread ready for this upcoming uh, season here in Indiana, uh, my uh, Meyer, uh, got it all flipped upside down here, my Meyer salt spreader has a, uh, this is the motor, um, spreader motor, 12 volt part number 36402 um, the issue I had was the um I apologize this is our first video um the motor had kind of corroded and um I couldn't find a video on how to repair this thing so uh, I wanted to make a video to kind of help you guys that uh, may have the same issue. Contacted uh, Meyer, uh, submitted a, a form to try and have them help me um, get some information on this thing, on how to repair it. Um, they were not very much help. So Meyer, I do apologize for um, kind of giving you that uh, rotten tomato, but... Um, other than that, this is a it's a good salt spreader. I do like it. So rather than uh, go with another model or another brand, uh, I did opt to uh, repair this. So let's get straight into this. I don't want to do too much yapping. Um, shout out to. Uh, um, so anyway, this is a, a half inch wrench. I don't know if you can see that half inch wrench, um, and. Uh, if if you can get these bolts off, um, there's a nut up under here. Uh, it's not gonna show, so let me get my light here. There is a uh, there is a uh, you can't see it because I ended up having to cut it, but uh, right here. Um, right there is another hole. That is where, that's where the bolts go through. So the tools you'll need are a half inch wrench to start off with. Um, a half inch wrench, you will need a... Three-sixteenths uh, hex, hex bit. Uh, shout out to Harbor Freight. Uh, this is a Pittsburgh. Um, on a side note here, uh, I had to buy one of these. And uh, the first time I went, there's a set screw here. First time I went to get that set screw out, it snapped right off. Um, but uh, Harbor Freight uh, had a, a really good warranty. <clears throat> I took it back to the store, uh, showed them what happened. They gave me a whole new set. So uh, Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh uh, Tools, uh, you do rock on that. Um, and I do greatly appreciate it. So once... Uh, so guys, I do apologize. This is the first video I've done, but... Um, I just felt so strongly in making this video that, because uh, there was nothing online, I found nothing online about this. Um, so if you do have a similar salt spreader, this is uh, what you're going to need. Uh, ended up, um, I couldn't get any of those out. I had to end up taking the grinder, had to grind those, uh, those out. Uh, once I got that out, it just popped right off. So once once you get them bolts out, you'll want to... Get your. I ended up buying an extension because it's you. You just can't reach in there real well. So, um, you get get your socket up in there, and uh, it should see. That's what it should do. It should just fall right down. Now, there is a, um, a key that is 
I don't know if you can see that notch on the motor. I'll pull the motor out and you can see. So it does not come out this easy. What, what I ended up having to do, folks, is there, there's a, um, there's a, a cotter key that, that is on, that is on that, uh, that's, that's on that motor. And what I ended up having to do was you had to heat this up. I had to heat that up just like this. That, uh, I had to, before I could get that, uh, that set screw out, I uh, had to spray it with some, uh, um, well, I use liquid wrench, WD-40, any uh, lubricant I could find, any brake-free I could get a hold of. I just saturated that with it, let it sit for 24 hours, came back, heated it with the torch, and uh, after um, working with it a little bit, that set screw did come right out. Now, once, like I said, this, this just fell out because I've already had this apart, but um, I had to come in with a... Uh, with a crowbar, had to take the crowbar. Now, if you're replacing this motor, don't be scared to put a little bit of work onto it, but I ended up, there's a little bit of play. You can get, you can put that crowbar right up under there. And uh, what I did was kind of worked it around, went through all around it and uh, just gave it a couple good cranks. And uh, once you got that all pushed out, that motor just comes right out of there. Once again, this is a uh, this is a Meyer motor, part number 3640, 3640 02. Um, and uh, so this uh, model salt spreader is a BL400 and uh, it uh, it holds about eight bags of salt. I do, and I like I said, I do like it. Um, so I ended up buying a uh, replacement motor from China. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. This is it, um, and uh, I've got some bolts that I'm going to end up putting uh, back on here. But it even comes with uh it even comes with a, another um key in in place there and uh what you'll end up doing is you want to make sure that your hole there is lined up so that set screw or that key can slide right down in there so okay folks thank you for uh watching the video um i hope you like it um, like I said, this was the only thing I could think of to help people out. Uh, there was nothing out there. So, uh, Meyer, you do have a good product. Um, I would encourage you if you have a Harbor Freight in your area, um, go, go buy you a set, uh, of these, uh, go buy you a set of these. These are very handy. I bought, uh, metric and standard, uh, Lifetime warranty on the pit picks pit bleh, on the Pittsburgh. Um, I also bought a set of the uh, Pittsburgh um, quick release extension bars. Uh, these things they just twist. That little ball goes down in there, and you're able to uh, release your uh, your part real easy. So. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching, and God bless.